guys, welcome to Legendary Matrix. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a Minecraft server very easily. Go to the first link in the description, minecraft.net slash en slash download slash server and then just click this button right here and wait for the server to start downloading. Now, I already have the server downloaded. I don't need this. So, I have it on my desktop here it's actually not going to be named this is going to be named this uh, it's going to be named this if you're for 1.10.2 which is what this tutorial is about so now that we have got this downloaded we are going to right click new folder we call it anything you want i'm going to name it Minecraft server you will take this file drag it in there Open my the folder up and now you will double click on Minecraft underscore server Now it's you can see that a folder appeared called logs And the server thing opened and then it closed you will see we got more files if the server does not open you will right click open it with Java the M platform binary and then you when you have these files we will go into the EULA file and then change it from true uh, from false to true exactly like this file it file save it it needs to be in lowercase and type on the last line EULA equals to true no spaces and then you will close it open it up it's fine so now we will double click on minecraft underscore server it's going to continue even more do some stuff and this time it's actually going to open so wait i said that but nothing so if you go into server here you can see it says ip config where does it say that it says a server ip sorry you will go into your CMD, type in IP C O N F I G, enter. And now we have got so much stuff, but all we have to care about is the IPv4 address 192.168.8.40. Yours might be completely different. Do not worry. So type that in here 192.168.8.40. Party. And guys, this is not 24 hour server. That means when you're when it's open, only you can uh, the server is going to be running. Then when the file is open, it's going to take your computer resources, and you don't want to give it to anyone you want. Okay, so now you double click on Minecraft uh, underscore server 1.10.2, and um, can see now it's opened up and it's doing some stuff you can see it says preparing spawn once that's done I'm gonna be back boom guys now the server is done as you can see here now you will type in the command stop stopping server stopping because stopping server stopping the server stopping server okay that, that's just nothing you can see some files here we are going to get to them later as you see we have already got the ip server thing now that we have what we have to do is not open up microsoft edge we have to go to the second link and download utorrent i already have it install it you can actually uh, do the Forward, forwarding, forwarding in a different way, but this is the easiest. You go to options, you go to profit, prefers, prefers, then you go to connection, and then you take the server port, which was the default. I don't remember. You will take this thing, the server port, copy it, copy this. Control C, go here and put that there, apply and then OK. Now 
If your friends are playing, you need to have your torrent open. So now we have got every single thing done for the server. Now, how many minutes? Five. Okay. So you can see I've got the faithful texture pack on and I've got the thir 32 by 32. And I've got Minecraft here. I will go to multiplayer, add server. Control A doesn't work apparently. I will call that anything I want. I will name it uh, nothing. And then put in your IPv4 address or if you're connecting uh, with the friend, the IPv4 address he gave and then you will click done. And it's going to ping in. That annoys me. Okay, now we will go ahead and double click the Minecraft underscore server dot one dot ten dot two jar file. Now you can see once it's opened up, this should start working. You can see a Minecraft server, 20 players allowed. We are going to go right into the server. And it's going to put me in, add my stuff in. Oh my god. Okay, I just forgot to tell if you have uh, a friend or even you having a crack Minecraft, change online mode to exactly false. Uh, save it. Open up Minecraft and then go back into the server, logging in, and I'm going to be, oh my god, I'm going to be, uh, you need to close the server and then do the falsing and then you need to refresh the thing and you can see now I am floating in mid air but inside of a Minecraft world. But if I try to go to game or one, it's not going to let me do that. It says you don't have permission to use this command. Why does this always happen? But just in case it's lagging too much. So you can see I am in the server. You can see it is a server. So now you can see it does not have the option open to LAN, go and allow the cheats. If I go into game mode, one says nothing. If I go OP, legendary, matrix, my username, it still says that. You have to go to the server, type in OP, legendary, matrix, and it's going to say opt legendary matrix. Now I can go into game mode. See, I'm flying. I can take stuff. Can spawn myself some items. I can put gold or iron or lapis or down. I can put coal or down. I can do anything. I can pick up blocks. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave like if you enjoyed. And this is not 24 hour server again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm out.